Hi, it's Katrina. Number 10. Cave Relics of World War I Ancient artifacts are being revealed more and more in Italy as the Alps slowly melt. One of the most shocking recent discoveries came from beneath the ice at the top of Mount Scorluzzo at a height of over 10,000 feet. It was here where the white war was waged between the troops of Austro-Hungary and Italy. War was fought in the freezing cold, from peak to peak, with the military camps being built in caves and caverns. One of these military barracks was completely frozen until just recently, when the retreating glacier revealed it for the first time since World War I. Researchers were amazed when they entered the barracks and discovered personal belongings abandoned by the soldiers after the end of the war in 1918. They found beds made from straw, scraps of clothing, old coins, tin cans, newspapers, and even animal bones drained of their marrow. The barracks were occupied by soldiers in one of the worst stations imaginable. The remains of animal bones show just how desperate the soldiers were to eat. They were cracking open the bones of their kills and slurping the marrow. Experts say more soldiers in the mountains were killed by avalanches and hypothermia than the fighting itself. Over the past decade, hikers have been finding the frozen remains of soldiers still in their uniforms, poking out from the melting ice. Number 9. Nazi Treasure Map There is a very special day that comes around once a year in the Netherlands. It's called Open Access Day, and that's when the National Archives declassifies government documents officially cleared for public access. These documents have a kind of expiry date. When a file turns 75 years old, it can no longer be hidden from public view and must be made public. On Open Access Day in 2022, the files from 1947 were finally revealed for the first time. One of these files immediately gained global attention. The National Archives in the Netherlands had no choice but to release a real treasure map that leads to a lost Nazi treasure buried near the city of Ulmeren. The map is believed to mark the spots where a group of German soldiers hid treasure worth millions. Gold, jewelry, diamonds, artwork, and all the other glorious spoils of war you can imagine. The archivists say the treasure may have been looted from a bank during battle, then buried in four secret locations so the soldiers could come back later and retrieve it. As you can imagine, treasure hunters all over the globe grabbed their shovels and metal detectors upon seeing the map for the first time. They then descended on Amarin like a plague of locusts. As of early 2023, no treasure has been found. Experts are starting to wonder if the treasure wasn't already dug up perhaps shortly after it was buried. Or maybe a treasure hunter already found it and just didn't tell anyone. That would be the smart thing to do. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Number 8. The Ghost Villages of France During World War I, nine villages in France were completely wiped out. It happened during one of the longest and most brutal artillery fights in the history of war, known as the Battle of Verdun. The battle raged for a continuous 300 days and nights in 1916. Troops used the newest weaponry available to them, in Germany's case, their epic Big Berthas. An endless barrage of shells hammered the combat zone, filling the soil itself with lethal poison like arsenic. When the war was finished, France declared the villages were so corrupted by the artillery fire that they could never be rebuilt. Over the last century, only one of the destroyed villages was reconstructed. Two were partially rebuilt, then abandoned. The remaining six are still uninhabited. These are the ghost villages of France, still seen as too dangerous to live in and too expensive to rebuild. The villages were forbidden zones for a long time, but are now open to visitors. And although nobody lives in the villages, each one is still considered a municipality and has its own mayor. The mayors are responsible for preserving the few remains left of the epic battle. Number 7. Frozen on the Glacier The remains of a soldier were discovered in the mountains between India and Pakistan. The soldier had been missing for 38 years. He vanished on the heavily militarized border of the two nations in the Kashmir region. 
According to government officials, the soldier and 17 others were stationed on a ridge on Siachen Glacier when they were hit by an unexpected avalanche in May of 1984. After the avalanche, 13 soldiers were recovered, but five could not be found. Recently, the glacier has been losing a lot of its ice. A team of soldiers doing their routine rounds came across one of the missing men from almost four decades ago. He was identified by his tag as Chandra Shikhar, and his body was returned home to be given a proper burial. Although this wasn't technically during war, for the soldiers living on the border, every day brings the threat of a potential skirmish. In 1984, there were frequent battles between soldiers from Pakistan and India. Both nuclear-capable countries claim the entire region, and neither is willing to accept the other's claims. The glacier is considered the highest battlefield in the world, at a whopping 6,700 meters. The whole region was uninhabited until Indian troops arrived. Then came the Pakistani troops, and periodic fighting has been happening ever since. As recently as 2017, Indian troops were killed in a series of avalanches. And in 2012, 140 people, including 129 Pakistani soldiers, were killed by yet another avalanche. Number 6. World War I Battleship the wreckage of a famous German warship that fought in World War I was recently discovered at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. The aging wreckage was found on the sea floor not far from the Falkland Islands. It was in the same spot it sank in battle on December 8, 1914. The battlecruiser Scharnhorst was blown apart by British warships with 800 crew members on board. According to historical records, the Scharnhorst attempted to lead a naval attack against the Falklands, only they didn't expect a massive force of British warships to meet them. A great battle took place. Nine German warships sank, and the Falkland Islands remained unmarred by German boots. Scientists decided to start searching for the World War I wreckage in 2014, but every attempt was unsuccessful. They didn't make any headway until 2019. Researchers used an autonomous underwater vehicle to search the sea floor using sonar. After something mysterious was picked up on the sonar, researchers sent down a remotely operated vehicle to film what they found. Marine archaeologist Menson Bound said the moment of discovery was extraordinary. Almost as soon as the ROV had its camera pointed at the sea floor, the scientists could see the debris from the battle. Suddenly, there were guns poking in every direction, scraps of twisted metal, and the huge ghostly wreck rising out of the gloom. Number 5. The German U-Boat and the Sea Monster In 1918, British patrol ships destroyed a pair of German U-Boats in the Irish Sea. One of them was supposedly attacked by a sea monster. The alleged attack went down in history as one of the most bizarre mysteries of World War I. According to the legend, the crew of the UB-85 were damaged by something huge while they were under the surface. The attack was so vicious and brutal that they were forced to the surface where they were spotted by the HMS Coryopsis. The soldiers were shaken, freaked out, and just happy to get out of their submarine and away from the monster that was hunting them. Some have speculated it could have been a giant squid that attacked the submarine. Some have even cried dinosaur, saying the attack was perpetrated by a prehistoric marine reptile. Well, marine archaeologists have finally discovered the German submarine that supposedly took on a monster. The wreck was found at the bottom of the Irish Sea at a depth of about 340 feet. According to marine archaeologist Innes McCartney, the wreckage is still in reasonably good shape. It was found by marine engineers as they were plotting the route for a new undersea water cable. The wreckage has not been brought back to the surface, but it is shallow enough that researchers have taken great footage of it. As far as they can tell, it was not destroyed by a monster. There are no scratch marks from a predator's claws, and nothing to suggest it was hit by a legendary kraken. So, where the rumors and legends started from? Nobody knows. Number 4. The Battle of Camden The Battle of Camden was fought during the Revolutionary War in August of 1780. 
British forces, under the direction of Lieutenant General Charles, fought back against the U.S. forces led by Major General Horatio Gates outside Camden in South Carolina. The astounding victory helped strengthen the British position in the Carolinas. Of course, we all know the British eventually lost the war, but there was a time when British troops were close to squashing the rebellious United States. The British would only get away with the new nation of Canada, but for a while they were extremely close to taking everything. Archaeologists with the historic Camden Foundation recently unveiled the skeletal remains of 14 soldiers who fought at the Battle of Camden. Research professor Stephen D. Smith says the discovery is a rare opportunity to examine a large sample of Revolutionary War soldiers. Discovering these bodies could help researchers understand more about the health and diet and lifestyle of soldiers in the 18th century. As of right now, researchers believe they have the bodies of 12 Patriot Continental soldiers, one from the North Carolina Loyalists and another who was a British soldier. Archaeologist James Legg says people need to remember that even when they're visiting ancient battlefields like Camden and Kings Mountain, they are walking on unmarked cemeteries. Number 3. Greenville Grenade In Greenville, the Michigan State Police 6th District Bomb Squad was called to safely remove an explosive from a downtown business. Someone discovered a grenade from World War II at a small consignment auction shop. It was Tiffany Carpenter who called the Greenville Department of Public Safety that day when she realized she had a grenade in her store. She says the grenade wound up in her possession after the death of her father. Items from his storage container were moved to her shop. As she picked through his lost belongings, she came across a grenade stashed in a toolbox. At first, Tiffany didn't think it was real. It kind of looked like a paperweight. After all, why in the world would her father have had a grenade in a toolbox? But after Tiffany picked it up and realized the pin was still in it, she came to the harsh realization that her father had been hoarding a grenade. She immediately called for help and the bomb squad came in to disarm the explosive. The removal was not as simple as pulling the pin and tossing it in a ditch. Bomb squad experts used x-rays to look inside the grenade. This allowed them to see that the blasting cap was not intact, and so the grenade was inert. Thankfully, there was no way for it to explode. And as for how it even came to be in Tiffany's father's toolbox, that is still a mystery. Number 2. The B-52 Wreckage of Hanoi from December 18th to December 29th, 1972, American forces carried out Operation Linebacker 2, commonly known as the Christmas Bombing. It was a ruthless attack intended to force the leaders of North Vietnam into signing a peace agreement. The bombs targeted mostly military installations, but also hit heavily populated areas around the city of Hanoi. An estimated 1,318 civilians were killed by American bombs. This sparked international condemnation. It was the savage Christmas bombing, along with other questionable bombing campaigns, that turned the American military into an international villain in the 1970s. During the attacks, the forces of North Vietnam retaliated. They fired over 1,200 missiles at the B-52 bombers in a desperate bid to stop the bloodshed. They killed 31 crewmen during the missile barrages. One of the bombers crashed into the quiet neighborhood of Ngoc Ha, right into Hu Tiep Lake. It fell into the lake on December 27th and is still there today. Tourists visiting Hanoi can see the twisted wreckage of the B-52 and the plaque nearby telling the Vietnamese version of events. The plaque says the Vietnamese forces shot down the imperialist U.S. plane when it violated their airspace as part of their national salvation. No matter what you think of the events of the Christmas bombing, the wreckage in Hu Tiep Lake remains a disturbing monument to the Vietnam War. Number 1. Lost Jewish Objects in central Poland, roughly 400 items were discovered during the renovation of a house and its surrounding property. The discovery included everything from silver-plated menorahs to tableware and even household items. Some of the items were worth a lot of money, but others were a bit more monotonous. Researchers are saying the items were likely stashed by their Jewish owners at the outbreak of World War II. 
Fearful the German Nazis would steal their valuable possessions, they hid them for safekeeping. The owners probably thought that when the war was over, they would go back for them. But tragically, these people likely lost their lives in the Holocaust. That's what Deputy Mayor Adam Pustelnik had to say about the discovery. He also said the find is rare and precious, yet also a grim lesson to us all. The items were packed in wooden boxes and newspaper, then stashed in a large trove at the home. The items will be transferred to the local archaeological museum, where they can continue to remind generations to come of the atrocities perpetrated at the hands of the Nazis. The city of Lodz, where the items were found, was occupied by the Germans between February of 1940 and August of 1944. The Jewish quarter held about 200,000 people. Most of the prisoners in the quarter either died there or at concentration camps throughout Europe. Thanks for watching. What discovery did you find the most interesting? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe and come back soon. Bye!